Hey guys and gals, Danny Boy here, and today I have the Google Pixel 3a XL, and what I want to talk about in this video is the unlocking of this device, that is how do you get into it when the phone is locked, and this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter than usual, simply because there's not a whole lot to talk about with this phone in this area, but let's get at it nonetheless. So basically, with Google's mid-range phone here, there's basically one primary way to unlock the phone, and that is a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner. So the placement is in the upper top here. It's a good placement for my finger. It gets the job done. And here's the thing. This <clears throat> fingerprint reader, while it's not the absolute fastest I've ever seen, it is extremely accurate. I mean, it works 100% of the time almost. I don't even know if I've had a miss on it. <coughs> I mean, it is just really good. The only other fingerprint reader I've had that's, you know, maybe better than this was my OnePlus 6s. That rear fingerprint scanner was really good, too, and it was really fast. This one, to me, the most important thing is that it's that it works. <clears throat> Fastness is good, but if the thing don't work, it don't matter how fast it is. But this is one of the best I've ever seen in that regard. Now, I did program each index finger into the phone twice just to give it that extra help, extra readability when unlocking. All right, so this is what you got. This is your menu on the security of this device. And basically, uh, with the fingerprint reader, I use a pen. You know, you got to have a backup. That's just the way it works. And this is your options. So you got swipe, pattern, pen, or password to get into the phone uh, besides, you know, the fingerprint. So, you know, like I said, let's see. So here's your options here, showing your notification content. You can have different users if you have a your phone, like, uh, you know, if you have more than one person using it, or maybe you want to set up, like, a home situation and then a work situation for your phone, you could probably do that. And then... Lock screen message that'll display on the lock screen. Um, and then now playing that shows you the nearby, you know, if you're in a restaurant or wherever, that'll show you the song that's playing in the, in the background on the lock screen. So that's pretty good. I've not really had a chance to experience that yet in action. Um, so that's just what that looks like. Uh, you can show your passwords as you type them. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's basically what we're dealing with here. It's pretty, you know, standard stock Android experience here. When talking about the locking of this phone. Now you can't have the power button lock the phone every time if you want. I don't do that, you know. Um, 
Now, one thing you'll notice here is that there is no facial unlock. You know, that's absent here. But really, you got to remember, this phone costs 479 bucks. So, with that and factor, I think that's perfectly acceptable that it lacks facial unlock. Apparently, Google didn't want to give a, you know, one that wasn't very accurate or reliable um, or secure, so they kind of passed on it. That's perfectly fine. Um, honestly, I don't really miss it on this phone because the fingerprint scanner is so reliable and accurate. I just don't miss it. And in a way, it's kind of good to only have one way because then you're not, every time you pick up your phone, you're not deciding, how do I want to unlock it with my face or finger? Because there's only <clears throat> one way to do it. That's the way you do it and there's no thinking about it. So in that regard, it's good. Simplicity is a good thing. So... That's what we're dealing with here, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And, of course, hit that thumbs up button. But for now, guys, peace out.